got stubborn fat, help get rid of it by restoring alignment, tapping into your lymphatic system. Take a seat, legs out 90 degrees, interlace fingers with toes. Make circular motion to pump lymphatic system. Do this clockwise to improve drainage, counterclockwise to flush toxins, and point flexes to move lymph channels. Uh, take this from a person studying fitness. You are completely wrong in every aspect of everything about fitness or fat loss, period. Even if you say something I agree with after this and is factual, no one on this green planet should listen to anything you have to say about fitness ever after this TikTok. Like from now on, your opinion is completely invalid because you've already shown yourself to be capable of this mental retardation. Anyways, everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your favorite alphabet letter Q here, back again with a brand new video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, last night I was about to upload a TikTok to my TikTok account. Yeah, the only good TikTok account on the website. Except, of course, for the criminally underrated Zero Omens. Regardless, to do that, I am always forced to come face to face with the front page of TikTok. Or as I like to call it, the worst place on earth. And when I did, the video that greeted me was the monstrosity we just took a look at a second ago. So after seeing this garbage, I decided to check the man's account out and it's pure garbage and misinformation. Let me introduce you to Posture Guy, the worst fitness and health advice content creator on this planet. On his profile, it says that he's a certified postural specialist, or as I like to call it, scam artist. So without any further ado, let's just get into this shit. How did I go from this to this? this 10 minutes every day to correct your posture. No, that, that's not how this shit works. Like, like at all. In no way. Notice how what he just made her do is sit with her back straight and nothing else. Do you want an actual way to get proper posture? Because I'll give it to you. Try push-ups. I am not kidding. That shit will push your chest out and make you walk like Superman. I mean, just exercise in general will boost your posture tremendously. It's really as simple as that. Just don't slouch. Sit Sit up straight and exercise. Don't do all of this towel under the head, placing a chair on the ground on top of a yoga mat next to your sofa and just sit there for 10 minutes. It's mentally disabled when you can easily get the same result by just sitting up straight. Not to mention that if you slouch for a whole day but sit up straight for 15 minutes on that day, nothing will change at all. Just like doing one push-up a day doesn't do jack shit for you, sitting up straight straight for 10 minutes when you've been slouching for the last seven hours won't change your posture at all. Got a double chin? Let's fix your posture. From this to this. Grab a towel, roll it up. Place behind neck. Legs elevated 90 degrees. Restore the curve in your cervical spine. Do this every day for 10 minutes. Hey guys, look! It's the same video as last time. I love how he uses this obviously in shape woman to show progress when she just has good posture already. Like when you think about it for more than one minute, he isn't showing any proof that this actually does anything. He's literally just yelling buzzwords left and right like cervical spine and shit just to tell people to sit up straight. You don't need to act like getting good posture is some voodoo shit when it's as simple as counting to 10. The only difference being that you just need patience. You want to know what else you can do? Push-ups. Build muscles so that your chest doesn't bend inwards. How about that? Nah, who am I kidding? Push your hands up against the wall and bend your body unnaturally for 10 minutes. Now that's how you broaden up those shoulders. <laughs> just shut up, man. Like, fuck. I bet this video was just an excuse for him to have her bend over on camera for him. Got an anterior pelvic tilt? Let's fix it. Start at the wall, walk feet out slightly in front of knees, hip distance apart, palms up. Shift the weight into your heels, pushing your lower back into the wall to restore your hips and pelvis back to a neutral position. 
Okay, so I actually used to have anterior pelvic tilt and it caused a lot of back pain and all sorts of garbage like that. But I've been sitting up straight most of my life, including when I had anterior pelvic tilt. And doing poor 90 degree bends will not do shit that trains your ass, thighs, and knees. You again effectively told us to sit up straight in a messy, convoluted way. By the way, if you have anterior pelvic tilt, I just recommend seeing a doctor doctor about it. That helped me a bunch and doctors won't try and lie to you by promising instant transformations for TikTok points. All right, let me translate this for you beautiful people. Huh, interesting. Got scoliosis? Scoliosis can be caused by imbalances in your shoulders and hips, pulling your spine out of alignment. Rebalance and align your spine with cats and dogs. This should be a hip-driven movement, starting at the hips, finishing at your head, taking your spine through flexion and extension. Help decrease the curve in your spine by doing this every day. Use pain as your guide. Stop immediately if you feel pain. Okay, uh, for anyone unaware of what scoliosis is, it's when your spine is quite literally bent and it can cause a ton of shit like immense back pain and weird posture. Now I knew this girl that had scoliosis and it's not like it was a terrible case, at least to my knowledge, but that was no chiropractor posture towel fix, okay? They drill bolts and iron poles into your back to stabilize the spine. No amount of sitting up straight, shrugging your shoulders, or any laffy taffy happy go lucky garbage will change your scoliosis. Get help from a professional, not an idiot on TikTok. In conclusion, Posture Guy is a TikToker who spams the same video over and over again on his account, preys on people who don't know better, and promises fixes to things you should see a professional for. I think you should never accept any fitness tips from anyone on social media in general because most of it is just the biggest load of actual horseshit I've ever seen. If you want fitness advice from people I trust, I recommend people like Noel and Sean. They both make videos I watch a lot and I do trust their advice. Now I just have to wait and a couple of years from now it turns out that one of them is a murderer and I get cancelled or some shit. Anyways, everybody, that's all I can stomach from this person at the moment. If you made it this far through this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I don't know, comment scoliosis to confuse the majority of people that only watch like two minutes of my content. But if you found this video good, consider subscribing and leaving a fat like on this video. And with all that being said, go away.